from the makers of, or the maker of the Stanley Parable. Singular. Singular. We get the Beginner's Guide. A game announced fucking like four days ago. What? It was announced last week. And it's out October 1st. (laughs) Which is the way it should be. Yesterday, the way it should be. The way it should be. Open up your Game Pro magazine. God, find out. Could you imagine stores now? Could you imagine you watch E3 and then you turn on your Xbox at the end of the week and you're playing Scalebound? Right. That's the way it should be. That would be be insane. But it can't be. No, it isn't. It's not affordable. That. So we get games like this, The Beginner's Guide. We have literally no idea what this is. All right. We have no fucking clue what this is. It is on. Audio is on. We'll make sure to talk over all of it. I I believe in the Stanley Parable. That was a good good ass. I game. believe in that guy. That was a good ass game. Question mark. <laughs> Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the Beginner's Guide. My name is Davy Reedon. I wrote the Stanley Parable, and while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events uh-huh. that happened between 2008. And 2011. Already, I'm thrown for a loop. Yeah, we're exactly. going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named is Coda. like is Davy actually now these games the mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff, and his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I oh wanted God, to make. I'm already nervous. So like, just yeah, to yeah. You off, is this, this some is, Banksy shit? This is I think the first, game, is, he think the first game he ever it's made. Can you move? Counter Strike. You can walk around yeah. here, by the way. Walk and uh, mostly it's just this Coda learning level. the basics of building a 3D environment. It's real nifty. Yeah. But what I like Full is to that, that even though he starts yeah. in the simple aesthetic <laughs> That's of like 7,500 fuel. He then scatters these colorful abstract blobs yeah, and I saw impossible floating, floating, yeah, floating crates yeah. around the level. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town. And instead, this level becomes Can you walk a it? kind of calling card from its creator. No. Okay. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. Yeah, I see what okay. the box And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? Okay, so this is going to be a heavy this commentary. This is what I like yeah. about all of that Cody's like it. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Nope. And that's All exactly right. what we're going to do here. So, it's 2008. Coda starts making these games, <laughs> and he never uh-huh. releases any. Of them. Sounds familiar. He doesn't put them onto the internet. He just makes them, and then immediately okay, abandons crazy. them, and they but sit on his computer. Do, untextured box. What the fuck? And I think he really that's how he left it. I'm image sure. of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to <laughs> important. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. So you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until I was suddenly say, I was one hope day, the old he returned, just but stopped. This is a this personal is a totally story. Different. That was yeah. It. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's it's why really I'm interesting, this though, opportunity like, to gather it's almost all of his like work together. A movie, is because but it's, I find mm, his like, powerful and interesting. And it's not an interactive film, because like you're not changing to the way it's going so far. Again. No. You're just and if the people exploring. Like, you who like, if you could, also happen like if you could look around the set then I'm sure it would just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email (laughs) me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. That's awfully open. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. Wow. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. Uh This first one was made in November 2008. Wow. Thrown for a loop. All right. What an interesting game. All right. All right, let's explore. (laughs) Whisper machine status active. Evacuate immediately. (laughs) There's a gun in your hand. Yeah, suddenly. (laughs) Suddenly FPS. Are you liable? Call us. Shoot us. It's over here. Is that another door? There's nothing. Can I reload? What a... Can I change weapons? No, I can't. no, it seems like it's pretty bare bones. Uh, yellow path. What an interesting piece of, I guess, interactive. Nope. <laughs> it's not interactive. Like it's almost like a documentary media. of sorts. Piece you know what of I mean? media. Yeah, like it's certainly not fiction. I don't. I don't think. I. Well, it could. I be? mean, no, you're right. It could be fiction. But if, if what he is saying is to be true, then like documentary. Security call breached. Oh. It's gonna be aliens. Just back your ass up. Where are they? 
It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid game. <laughs> For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere, but then clearly there are no enemies yeah. anywhere. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. <laughs> but ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. I'm out of bullets! And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, right. rather than for what they're not. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Enemy force neutralized. Beginning <laughs> <laughs> this is this is oh can you go oh yes yes, yes yes there you yes, go yeah. yeah that's an interesting idea that like an unfinished game like perhaps the creator was I contented the with the way it ended the from this room. oh yeah oh that's great oh that's good that's really cool Space this isn't box. like this isn't really looking at how the sausage is made this is looking at the unfinished sausage right and appreciating it for the like like you know that that the first strange person? delicacy that it is yeah like you know that adventure game the unfinished swan this is like that but it's the sausage and the sausage is a first person shooter uh, apparently the space station has a labyrinth oh straight up there's a map I, uh, sure i don't know hug right there's really no yeah. reason for it that i've ever been able to discern so in the interest of time i'm just going to skip you on past it oh okay <laughs> <laughs> that i like that that okay this is the part like that's Frank bit. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay. Yep. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That being is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? Can I do nothing else? Sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, is that even an option? <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> Apply on your side. Second. Games made in source. What you just yeah. experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But? But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, step in the beam. Let's see what happens actually. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the map. I want to see the, like, the labyrinth. Is there anything over there? No, not no, really. No. The beam causes you to start floating. So this is w and the this file is that he had. Moment for him. Yeah. Because yes, this is technically run? a glitch. I can't. Okay. But Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel yeah. in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, <laughs> juxtaposed This is what testing a game is like. Exactly. Everybody. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking. But what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work okay. on this mm -hmm. and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Yeah, because this really, like you Let's said go before, ahead and was take like a, look a at pretty first game plain looking shooter as far as it was going to go. Oh, there's the seam right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. That sky cube. All right. The past was behind her. I can't move. Oh, there, there we go. go. Yep. In this game, <laughs> you can only walk backwards. <laughs> So you have to turn around and read the title, The Past Was Behind Her. That's what clever. What a fun gimmick. That's clever. But what is there besides this? Well, that's 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 the interesting bit, isn't it? This could be scary, couldn't it? It could it could be a horror game. Where you but I, act, I don't, I don't you think can't see what's coming, but you can hear it? Yeah. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused. So it keeps simple. rendering stuff behind Coach you while you can't see it. Voice, rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. It becomes clearer. That's fucking interesting, yeah. isn't it? Oh, that's really smart. Look up. Look at this art house shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if the future is always behind her... Alright. Oh. How will she find the strength? To confront it. Oh, there's no door. The door's it's gone. A short little thought. It says what it wants <laughs> to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more. Uh, this wow, fucking, neat. Which neat. to me is why it works because it gets out. Hipster quick. game mm -hmm. shit. Okay, next one. That's pretty good. That's still cool. That's, that's no, that's idea. very cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Slender. Playing first-person RuneScape. Right. 
Nothing over there. Selling. You are now entering. Selling lobbies. 99k. Items plus. Yeah. Jet, 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 jet. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise right. you will hey. make it interesting. You got, you got us. You got us. We're paying attention, man. I like this, like, collection. Oftentimes, Coda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his mm -hmm. games. Okay. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Hmm. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And Where I don't are you going with that at all? Just over there? Yeah. What are you Fuck it. Do? Yeah. I don't disagree. It's here, isn't it? It's there. I know it's tempting, but there's actually nothing over here. Motherfucker! Sorry. <laughs> I'm not surprised. That's like that was the whole Stanley parable was yeah. was push the bounds, right? Yeah. And like like jump out of world yeah. and like, well, shit yeah, I mean, like that. He knows me. I'm that kind of gamer. Yeah, exactly. There's one exactly. thing that says progress, awesome. Save that to last. Like I feel like he could be someone who was a very astute tester. Yes. And he wrote down bugs when he found them and like Made turned them, them into features. mechanics. Yes, yeah, absolutely, exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Look up how tall is the uh high bar okay. yeah, that's way up there. Although like oh shit. Are you going slower? I am going slower. Once you've been slowed to an absolute the door, crawl, the, yeah, the, door the door at the top of the it. stairs opens. So why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for so yourself. Weird. Get ready to enter. I did. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, now I'm back to full speed. Okay, I misunderstood that. Yeah, okay. Play has a pair of floating eyes emitting footstep noises. This game is nothing but giant blocks of text explaining what's happening. A key in one game unlocks a door in a completely separate game. A normal game where you have to scream into a mic every 15 seconds to keep playing. You're the queen. These are all, these are game ideas. And nice, and filled with These are all game ideas. You are a gate. A stranger appears. Stand on X, staring at a bear for three hours. Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold Game or filled with distant. chairs, except look up. He said that he knew that he except was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Wow, there's a lot to read here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start in a small room until you realize you can just walk through the walls. You run a shop inside, inside your, your own body, body your organs. organs like, you can't possibly. No, well, I mean, maybe. If you're a better reader. He's like Peter Molyneux. Okay, tweets. ready, set, fish. Yeah, no, it reminds me of that. It, it feels really like legitimate, though. You know, right? I mean? No, like, no, for sure. Yeah, but like, it's like like these are just one sentence game jam concepts. Yeah, it definitely comes across that way. But that's that's interesting. Seems like an interesting. And they're always guy. and these are always first person. Well, this is games. new for yeah. It, it's it, an actual. I puzzle. guess they're made on source. Go ahead like, and see if you can solve it. You are a floating camera that emits footstep noises. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that was a good one. Floating pair of eyes. Yeah, okay. Can you interact with stuff? Like, what'd you use? You clicked? I clicked, yeah. Can you go left or right? Like, just out of... Nope. Yes. Oh, yeah. A Perhaps. little bit. Uh, a little bit? Not too much. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be anything. Or... Can you... Oh, it's just WASD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, so no control to click or anything. Can yeah. you walk through the door backwards? <laughs> I doubt he'd reuse a gimmick like that. That doesn't seem like yeah. him, but... Try uh, hitting the button from the inside of the door. Like, try going inside and clicking the button. No. Like, if you're at an angle and you can see it? Oh, uh, okay. Maybe, I don't know. Hey. Oh, there's a switch on the back of the door. There's a switch on the yeah, back yeah, of the door. Yeah, I, I see this one, but that's just to reopen it, nope, isn't it? No, no. Don't forget that solution, oh. because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Sick. Okay. We're going to see it a lot. We're going to see it a lot. Okay. Okay, let's listen some dots. Just dots. Weird, out-of-place dots make me nervous. I don't know, is it just me? Well, it's like, what are they there for, right? Yeah, like, yeah. There's explain be, your... What's the, what's the intelligent your design dots. process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please rationalize yourself. That seems for to me. be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. <laughs> but right. no. Now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Uh, okay. What? 
but why? How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. That's crazy. So That's... Uh, in the stairs Jesus. game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. Yeah. And then and this is in the this exact level, a dull interior hides this fantastic Christ. higher world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time you don't get to know what you're missing. Or, this or guy's that stuff he was making was really That's interesting for sure. Slash player. insane. So <laughs> <your role laughs> yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Then what is it? Like, but it's interesting. Games that oh, are, we're back. We're yeah, back. We're yeah. Back. Games that you couldn't possibly get anything out of unless you deconstructed. Are them. we? Are we gonna? So, so that says you're now exiting. Uh -huh. So, this so I guess that's what it means. With the entering game He's literally earlier, saying tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. Okay. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning okay. that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. So, like, he expects people to deconstruct his games? Well, remember, he didn't publicize his games. Right, right, right. These were never... Anywhere. These were all just his own creations for himself, I suppose, you know? Well, as, as far as I can see. Until something. Like, maybe that was the plan, or yeah, was it? Yeah, well... Let's talk about knows. video game development for a second. Yeah, okay. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. It's a fair So, in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Streetwise Fool. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Naturally, yeah. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's <laughs> right. why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine Can does you go well. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going. Okay. Right. Right. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. Yeah. I mean, all the stuff in this environment is very, uh, well, clearly based on triangles. There's no semblance of round things to be seen. Is that a window? No, whatever. Okay. Nothing to really interact with. Oh, no, the door just opened, actually, at some point when we were walking around. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Oh, no, you did. Yeah, you did it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Interesting. Can you jump? Yeah, you can. Sick. All right, I guess we're going. Yeah. How far down do you think you can skip in one jump? Oh, <laughs> like, like, uh, like fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever that game was called. Huh. <laughs> How far down? How far down? Like Sonic Adventure. Let's go. Yeah, do it. There's no dying. Because nope. there's no life. Because he didn't put it in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there is no life yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. live. Therefore, what should death be? I love that. Yeah, Sonic Adventure was the, the king of this. Where you just jump and like skip <laughs> the whole fucking level. Oh, that was so fun. Oh, sick. Oh, and there's there's a floor. Yes. And there's something intended. around. A light source. God, and the fact that he never released these too, like that can't jump off the stairway. Ah, okay. Well, either way, we're going in the. In the door. I cannot approach that. No, we'll go in the door. Yeah, I just, I just. There's, oh, there's a glass there's wall. A, if yes. you look sideways, you can kind of yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah. I cannot approach ah. the middle. I didn't notice until you, yeah, pointed it out. Back to a light source. What the fuck? Door opened. Party over here. So we get into the Half Life Two sewers. There's a little gate. Just this little gate open. And now it closed, I think. Uh, this is inches away from being a horror game. Yeah, it is getting a little unnerving. Yeah. Just a little bit. But I don't think... No, exactly. It doesn't... I don't get the sensation that yeah. it's gonna be horror, but it's weird. Are Off you locked in now? Prison. Yeah. Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed <laughs> for, shut a full for a hour. full hour before letting wow. you go. But that's the important thing. You don't mind it did open, right? Yeah. yeah. 
This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. Can't leave you this. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, <laughs> whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file <laughs> entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an <laughs> empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. That's a statement, all right. I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. I guess just keep going down. There was. this way. Well, it looks like there's gates right in front of you. It's hard to see them, but they're uh, there. They are there. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Interesting sound. Yeah, watch out for that glass there. You're going to have to walk around the glass. There's a glass ceiling around most of them. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, definitely. Like, the idea of a game that's not playable, like, I know, like, a lot of people scoff at it, but it's, like, it's it's an interactive media form just like any other, right? Exactly. Like, we're in an age where we're, we're now getting more and more, uh, quote-unquote, walking simulators slash mm. glorified screensavers, etc. But... It's a young medium that we, can yeah. go multiple ways. Hey, there's the dots. For sure. Like, I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah, there, there, you're right. Like, without sarcasm, you can totally make something not playable and still, like... Uh, it's the game, puzzle again. For sure. With the exact same solution as the last time. What is art? Yeah, exactly. Not an easy no. answer. Yeah, you were too, too far, I guess. Ask you, Bert. Hell no. Or will it? Not Shadow of the Colossus. No. Nope. No. Certainly not that game. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return yeah, to it over sky. and over. Beautiful. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Goddamn surfaces that look jumpable but are not. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It looks like it's it's like right waist the, high, exactly. but it's not. Yeah. So I wonder if he put that puzzle in just because of that discussion and of like making the game playable, making it there, more of a game. You know what I mean? Because there was a single thing to do. You there, did you come from Here, above? Here, begins there? using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Yes, there was a... Use so the type, one, two, three yeah, buttons one, two, three. on your keyboard to respond. Uh, what was up there? Yes, there was a world stamped in whiteness. Yes, there was an enormous prison I spent an hour... I spent so hours all three in. of them? Yes. All three of them are true, but which one's... I'll start with... Which one's true to you? I don't think you'll get a second choice. It's a world above. You've been there. Now, this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, uh, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before getting here. Now I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. I prefer not to tell, tell you, you after all we've only just met. I'm torn between one and three. I'll say... Go uh, for two, then. <laughs> that's just wrong. That's I know, just a dummy I know. answer. I'm going to say three. Okay. But you, you don't understand. We're trapped here. That puzzle is our only escape. We need to get through it. You think you want to get through, but trust me, you don't. Let, Let me describe, describe it for you. you. Let, Let me tell you about what it is over there. What is over there? All right, All right I'll, I'll tell, tell you how to solve, solve it. it. Interesting. Uh, yeah, three. Why not? Wonderful. Ellipses. Ellipses. Speak. Final Fantasy VIII. Yes. Well, Squall. What is it? What's the answer? Please speak to me. <laughs> I must know. It's the most important thing. There must be an ending. Indeed. Is it, so the exit just opened. Yeah. And what is that? I think that's like a furnace or something. Mini fireplace? I don't think it's anything, really. I think so. No, uh, no crouch button. Nope. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guy. But it, I'm out of dialogue. Around, or though. not. How did you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? Uh, yeah. We actually find the black space between the doors to be far more interesting. Have you seen it yet? Uh, yes, we have seen it. Yeah. Yeah, so two, I guess. Don't think too hard about it. You'll see it again soon. Mm hmm. It's like you get a little bit of space, but not much. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I just want to see if there's any space right here. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Untextured stairs. Why not? Actually, there's some sort of marble texture on it. It's pretty light, though. Oh, you're right. Something. A little bump mat. And yeah. so we make one last descent, 
down to the final floor of the level. Fucking stucco walls. Like, I, stucco. Uh, Stucco's so ugly. Such a not cool If you're cool gonna texture. build an art house game, don't use stucco yeah, textures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so here's that area, I guess. No, this is new. I mean, the, the space between the doors. The, that big black room you were just in. It's a lamppost. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Huh. Hmm, okay. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work. I still find it fascinating that he never released any. He of wants these. a destination. And I get it because a lot of them post is. It's a in their nature aren't really. We're gonna complete, see it in the work as well. Kind of Those games are just gonna become a lot more cohesive, somewhat scattershot, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. What? And as we go, that by? idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Well, this is like, yeah, like some sort of clear personality breakdown of who this Coda guy is, right? And yeah, I, well, I feel like we're playing a video game version of uh, Rejected by Don Hertzfeld, the cartoon. Where this game just... is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. From soft games? All notes you see are left by other players. Yes, from soft, okay. Yeah, I feel like we're playing, we're, it's like Don Hertzfeld's Rejected, where you're, like, you're watching an animator break down as he animates his breakdown. Nice room. Not. How do I loop a note? I hope it'll tell you. Maybe type? Hit enter? So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. Oh, All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. Huh. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends <laughs> with that person. Go up to that one up there. In yeah. retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, you tried to be cool. I was over-enthusiastic. Yeah. But he was very gracious about hey, it LMAO. and very patient. <laughs> and I cooled off eventually. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read That's all That's the only important one. Either way, <laughs> yeah, okay. you are. They can be a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs. You will believe and Blue has no way to talk. express them, except as scattered. Okay, let's go look around. Voices in a game that wasn't meant. Since to I'm be glad he told us, like, yeah, they don't do anything. God, all right, but I'm still really curious. But it's ironic, yeah. isn't it, that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better. And actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. <laughs> it's like a case I thing. could just get to know yeah, them and work. I think this is why I always liked Wait, Coda's what? games so but much. Is yeah. because it felt like they let me have that connection. What crap fart? I felt as though Hell down, hell. exactly it, yeah. Personally, into his world. And then I feel less lonely, too. Don't listen to that guy. Yeah, like, so documentary video game? Right. right? That's what I'm, I'm feeling. Perhaps, for sure. yeah. So the door doesn't open. Or does it open only for you? Not yet. There was other areas to go to. Did there you was see? paths that, yeah. Yeah, Jackson Pollock. What a hack. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just took a Splatoon gun. Yeah, exactly. Went to town on got a canvas. Tat -tat. Got rich. Got That's what fucking you get. rich. Some of his stuff's cool, but... Hey, as long, look, it's fine. There's room in the world for one guy. Yeah, there's room <laughs> in the world for one guy. That exactly. does that thing. And then after that... If you're an art student doing that, you can just fuck off. Now, yeah, now you're a hack. You gotta, draw, to those other notes. you gotta draw better anime than that. Your foreshortening looks like shit. Wolverine's legs are <laughs> too fat. If you're an art student, you need to be studying Mezzo Forte. Not this. <laughs> Mezzo uh, Forte is art. Kite right. and Kite Liberator are art. And you can't fight that. 
Jackson Pollock is not art. Look, man. Green is not a creative color. And 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 it teaches you an important lesson about the financing that you'll need to do <laughs> to get your shit made. If you have a vision, oh, be prepared boy. to insert dicks and porn into that vision. Or just throw it all away. Be aware. I beat the game. No, you didn't. That's what Jackson Pollock did too, didn't he? Just All right, here, here we go. At the oh, end of fuck. this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. Right, okay. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Oh, we're going to see the same puzzle. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the Whispers. puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving yeah, on. Yeah, they play the even when you're not reading it. In each of his games, okay. after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Games as therapy? Like self-therapy? I'm smarter than everybody. And because yeah. this dark area between the doors... Oh. A space between spaces. Before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment. A few seconds to reflect on and let go mm. of the events that led you here. To step back and connect. Like once you finish something together, important. To grasp at and that. And before moving on to the next big bigger. task at hand. Mm -hmm. Here, close the door. Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's anything in between the space. I doubt it. It's the same space. Yeah. It's not even a particularly good puzzle, but it's an interesting interpretation of what it is, for sure. Well, because it's just not usually what a game would ask you to do, was like, open this door Close backwards. the door on yourself, yeah, yeah, exactly. What is that? It's up ahead. Whatever that is. It sounds like a typewriter. Yeah. And you leave notes. <laughs> nice. Are, are these all the note levers? Monkeys on typewriters? Hamlet? Without the monkeys, yeah. So are these, is this the invitation that... Speak, 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 speak. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Porn stars die too. <laughs> okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kinda just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang on. Okay, dude, this is this is a, a trip, man. In a few minutes, the door's gonna open, and who's gonna come in but the hero, War Machine? <laughs> and it's gonna be the end. It's gonna be the end. Fresh off of his Christy Mac mission. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, look, there's a well out there. there and is. what's to the left? Some sort of geometry. I can't. Yep, a structure. Is there anything to the right? No. Okay, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is the door a thing? It's a peaceful prison. Yeah. Is, it, is the door a thing? I suppose Ooh. it is. Because I know it's just going to spin its own wheels for a few minutes, but may as well look around. That's a weird texture. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Saw that painting before. I feel like I'm walking through Abstergo Labs. Yeah, or like some bizarre, unused Mirror's Edge test stage. Oh, where's my wall run? <laughs> What is this? Uh, it's the ground from before. See, like, mm -hmm. this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. Yeah. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay. So he makes, okay, he cool. makes it again. Here's version two. Okay, yeah, so there was where the furniture was. That thing's gone. That thing's gone. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Ah. Yeah. You know what goes in the middle of your room. Uh, what about along the wall of the room? How about the washing machine? How about that one? I like a picture of a horse. Picture of a horse. Liam, what is this? You, you should be giving me horse answers. You're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, Tesla coils in each corner. Fuck yeah, let's That's do the it. most garish shit. Yeah, we're not gonna get Tesla coils. <laughs> Getting a lamp. So and a table, of course. Is this about disappointment? And of course, we're gonna. Tables are gonna. Pretty sure they're not making a difference, exactly. 
There you go. <laughs> oh. Ah. There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness. Where's my yeah. horse? Yeah, I definitely feel like that. I was promised a horse. Like, you're trying to think about so, the okay, messages, but then it, it just goes this left. This time he comes but up I guess, yeah, the fact that he trashed direction. it knows that the message just goes left. Okay. No. Good. Good choice. Okay. Maybe there is nothing else. I'm sure the voice. I'm sure Dewey would come in and tell you. <laughs> yeah. Follow the instructions. Take care that you remember each step. First click on this table. Photo frame, click it. Click to turn it slightly. There's those three dots again. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off. Sorry, did it say then turn it back on? Then turn it back on. Okay. Now go left to the left sofa, side so far. Move it over a little. Finally touch the shelves. That's it. The real prison the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Okay. Yeah. And then do we get to go to that well? Do we have to repeat that sequence? I assume we have to repeat that sequence. Okay. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events <laughs> to escape. Ha! <laughs> Right, right. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. Oh, oh man. A few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. Oh. But he didn't dead. really go anywhere with it. Personally, Is that what you're telling me? It's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through yeah because it seems like he's and for what like at what point do you just go eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that i could be working on jesus but Coda christ doesn't have that voice telling you to stop that particular mechanism of we're here again against yourself without it you just spiral yeah yeah and so he keeps going and going and going and going and going and then he hits on something okay and he likes it and that's it he's done he stops making prisons this is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Mm. Mm. This is like, yeah. This is so interesting. I, it's, like, it's, it would be the most disappointing thing in the world to if we find got out to that the this guy was not fiction real. or something. Yeah. Like, this if, is. If this is actually real and this is real commentary, I'm so interested. Like, what a fascinating format for, a, like, a, a, a almost a, not a biography, but like an, ac an account of his <laughs> game development. Yeah, yeah, or a dissertation. <laughs> Hop in that phone booth. No, I'm not Callan Farrell. Don't shoot me. What? Dial that number. Hello? Moshi Moshi. <coughs> Excuse me. Danica. Uh -huh. I have no choice. I'm you from after you escape the prison. So this only follows a narrative of the other ones existing. The next sound you hear is me hanging up the phone. <laughs> the one after that. Uh, it's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. That's where I am right now. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Hmm. Being here sucks. He's talking to himself. Yeah. Maybe I only like things once I don't have them anymore. I think it was comfortable in my limits like, in my place. It's clear he was an extremely introverted person as far as I can understand. But yeah, this this level of, of dedication to this is, is definitely unique. Maybe you know, maybe it's not unique. Maybe we've never heard of it before in video game development. If this is real, this is fucking yeah. bafflingly nuts. This is the opposite end of the, the bar. Where one end is Sonic Dreams Collection and the other the, end is this. You go here, right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Unless Big the Cat shows up in all of them. <laughs> uh, having limits is my friend you probably realize right now. You see what I'm talking about when you've been there a while longer. Give 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 advice to yourself from the future. 
dope. Yeah, no, exactly. Then can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. Well, the guy that made Stanley what Carable do I have has to, do? to give you a, a couple of pointers. To so is this going to hit us with the thing of speak, 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 speak again? Be sincere. Tell me how you feel right now. Just talk with me for a bit. I can't know until you're at, but I promise it works. Just talk to me, it will make sense. I, I don't know. Just keep talking. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I'll be here for as long as you need. You say to yourself? I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. You know what it is? It's, it's outsider art. Nice? It's art from a person who's not, like, a part of... Yeah, some, you know, like I guess it's just a different an artist's interpretation. ...collective or the understanding of, of what art is, really. Like, uh -huh. It's like, you got access to Unreal... And then, like, and you had you no, this. but you had no this idea what Unreal was used for. You'd never heard of Unreal in your life. Yeah, like this guy clearly knows what's up because he made interactive and games and, and went to Game Jam. Like he's definitely not a clueless guy. No, but like that drink spilt. Oh, there's a guy over there. Hey, what? I'm clean. glad as heck that you showed up. Thought I might have to clean this entire house by myself and right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. Don't worry about me, this place is like that, uh huh. Uh, You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from the Yeah, definitely. Games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish. Yeah, because I was going to say already, just and this particular game good. took two months to create as a result. Clear the table. Yeah, sure. Bam! That was easy. Like that gif of the Pope. Where he just pulls the 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 sheet out from under the table and all the, the relics just <laughs> oh, I haven't stand. Seen it. I haven't it's seen. It's amazing. It. He's a magician. Uh, make the bed. Is this the bedroom? Yeah, that's bedroom. Single oh, player. look at this sheet. That's a good looking. This sheet, sheet you looks crouch? amazing. Can you crouch? I cannot crouch. That looks really good. I'm fucking freaking out over the quality looks, of this sheet. It looks like the the fucking the substitute doll in Smash Bros. Say oh. click. So click. Could you imagine like this animated? Click. Whoa. Look at the carpet as well. Straighten out the rug. The carpet looks pretty good. Yeah. Not as good as a sheet, but yeah. Bam. All no, the details looks... matter. Uh, do you enjoy being a house cleaner? I don't know. Man, that sheet. That was really cool, Blake. I'm going to be thinking about that for a while. All night. All day. Of course. You are, you're a vampire. Yes. What else do you need me to do? A tidy couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the sofa for me? No yep. problem. And the drink? Someone spilled a drink. Maybe mop up that drink? Got it. What else we got? An incredibly cheesy personal insight. Yeah, of course. <laughs> God damn it. Yes. No, I don't. It was stupid. Never mind. Oh, you judged him. Oh. <laughs> the dishes need to be washed. Why don't you do the dishes? I super judged him. Yeah. Wow, wow you're really good at this. The tub needs a cleaning. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Blowjob. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Blowjob. Uh, where's this tub? Yeah, it's right over there. There you go. Oh, it's got tons of soap scum in it, and it's gone! That's Are there still perfect. books scattered around human. the floor of the bedroom? Yeah, totally. Bam. That was not there before. Oh, let's look at the books. It looks like he textured... Oh, no, there's some blocks of books, but yeah. Some okay. Japanese some books. Some of them are textured individually. After the intense set of prison games, his house cleaning level almost feels yeah. like cleansing. Let's go clear the it's dishes the off the table. It's the after a particularly difficult or traumatic That's experience... That's odd. Didn't you just, just clear the dishes off the table? Yes. ...and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Next up was the bed. Oh, do these chores ever end? Yeah. 
Is this like a commentary on you something. visiting your parents? Because <laughs> holy shit. Whatever work you do, you absolutely get to own it. Otherwise Fuck it chores. owns you. So why don't we task and handle the future chores to future you? Present you wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. I know that Coda really liked God this damn game. It. Looks like the tub has gotten work, rather actually, dirty. This was Would the you mind cleaning up? He that? called me up to ask Dude, me to chores is why I moved out. This was during a period of a few months where he was like ninety percent of the reason. Really happy all the time. Just walked around oh, with a constant is... smile on his face. Oh, cheesy thought. That like, one's house is not like one's soul. You take care of it, it takes care of you. <laughs> oh, it's not time to click on that yet. Yeah. It, uh, it keeps getting dirty. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Makes sense. Hence why it keeps getting all out of order. Mm. Anyway. Tonikaku. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Blotch up! Blotch up for housekeeping! The no. books, the books. See? The books, quick! Right, right, right. Quick, right. you gotta do the books! Uh. But is, is your soul this, 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 S -S -S. like, useful? Is this the sound of, your, of a man's soul? All oh, those pillows on the couch. I'm glad he the sound of a man's soul is, is a guitar strum and a woman singing. Katamari esque. Yeah. Seems about right. This is a fucking disaster zone. These things just keep happening. Question. Answer. Do you enjoy but, this? Of course, it can't last. <laughs> the music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. The window's gone. Again, or was there you ever can't window? stay in the all dark the, space all the for two walls. Hours. You just can't. You have to keep the moving. Walls are it's gone, how yeah. you stay alive. That's the door you came up in. Yeah, so let's go at the new door. It seems, yeah, like it seems like all his games are are about that kind of moving on mm -hmm. from one to the next. Nothing can remain. even that little tiny one that was just here's the exit, which is the whole point. Of it's the a story. transition. That was it. Right? It was here's yeah. the exit. That sooner or later, you have to pick up and move. I you really have to ditch your soul. Mm -hmm. September two thousand. Items you love this at members only places. <laughs> Deep Why did you come here today? Deep in Street Fighter 4 territory in, in 2009. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Inspired by vanilla Street Fighter 4. Is this Bergenworth? <laughs> You're gonna turn into a slug man. You came perfect. here to become perfect. This workshop is gonna teach you how to be perfect. Can you look at your old self or is he gone? No. I bet you're gone. Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Yeah, I can't even jump. Who do you know is so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into what does this that head person. Say? Talk. Talk. Okay. Perfection is within your grasp. Oopsie daisy. And the Don't question is that. not how we do it. How do we do it effortlessly? effortlessly. This is easy. It's so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Yes, teacher. Okay, Sauron! Wow. <laughs> Only the way to work... Well, on, on the way to work, I told an elderly person to start and contributing to society. The teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you should not follow their dreams. Oh, wow. So you can move around the classroom. Oh, and you can move around the classroom. What does the kid's head say? Uh... There's, there's, pink, oh, there's a kid is. in the first, the first spot you spawn. Oh, shucks. Can't quite really listen, say. it says listen. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, let's, uh, we can only hit one. Yeah. Or can we hit the other buttons? Kids should not follow their dreams. Being alone... Did that just change? Must be awful. It did. Let me tell you, right now, this, it is an effortless, this is not the right answer. I still love you, just that you make me feel cold on yourself. Okay, hit some buttons. Let's, uh, let's move this. Let's move this forward. We're hitting the wrong buttons, right? Thank goodness all of you. Uh, whichever. Thank goodness all you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. Drinking is not hurting my oh life. Oh my god! Drinking yo. is not hurting my life. You're torturing yourself. You can't prove trying anything. To find the right delicious for your life. You're not doing it right. This is so fucking real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teachers. Do you understand shit. that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. You, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Seek out only one thing. Seek, seek lest. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's go with that. Seek, route. seek lest. Ah, uh, just kidding. Anyone want to do, do some ecstasy after this? No truth, there is no path. 
damn. That's, I like the idea of, like, here's the dialogue, but this is what you shouldn't say. Something is coming out of the back of the room. Look out. Do what is easiest, what is simplest. Yeah, okay. And what if something is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Every point. Yeah. Sonic's eyeball I is coming for you. For this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. Well, to uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I believe the saying is those who can't think teach. About game a lot these days. That one's really neat. Those who can't teach, teach Jim, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> eh. <laughs> I mean... This one took a lot longer than Oof, all the others that's rough. Coda to make. It was, it was four, four months, months okay. this and the last one. Yeah, the, that's significantly twice as long increasing. as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Yeah, let's perform. So you're the one who's getting on stage. Full audience, full house. Yeah. Or is there nobody? Hello, my Places, baby. Please. Hello, my darkling. Hello, my ragtime gal. In this scene, you will be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. Like a cool guy. Me, I'm Joe Cool. Hey, Joe Cool. Hey, Joe Cool over here. Captain Tyan Knots. <laughs> Blued hands. Bl Mr. Mr. Blued, Blued hands. <laughs> the woman across the room in the chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream, dream to, to photograph, photograph animals, animals professionally. professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Hello? <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Okay. What are you doing? You're deflecting. You're not saying what's actually on your mind. Stop dancing around it and have a conversation with this person. But I'm on stage. The people want to see me dance. Do it again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I guess this is like really like maybe, I mean I'm assuming he was a very introverted person. Everything you say is, is like the a, wrong thing. Like yeah, I guess this is how he felt about himself maybe, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. Maybe you need to feel better. Give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Let me build a game to practice social interaction. That'll be easier than actually yeah. having social interaction. Now talk to her again. Oh fuck. I bet you've learned to lean into the pain. <laughs> what are some sacrifices you've had to make? That is a fucking big question to yeah, ask yeah. somebody, man. You're messing it all up again. You'll figure out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Right? Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on Oh, this. run away. Touch the cone so it pops up. Oh, you I, bounce off. I bounce off the cones. Try stepping back from the stage. I'm scared. Or does he does he mean going that way? I guess oh. he means going that way. Yeah, okay. There's that lamppost again. Yeah, that lamppost is uh something. Well Oh. Like a grate came down, huh? Well I guess we'll keep going that way. <laughs> but I'm still on stage. Kind of. They still want me to perform. Kind of. That's a really long walk, Liam. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, he'll cut you off at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, keep going. Now this is working. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Fuck. Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to yeah, perform just keep and backing having yourself to chase success. And... The answer for Coda is to withdraw, mm -hmm. to hide himself away. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's which what is what it leads to, to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very helpful when I first played this game. Yeah, definitely. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just I disconnecting guess it's yourself. The inverse, though, that, that wasn't what I wanted yeah. for him yeah. or for his games. Because I feel I like say. a lot of his games are inviting me to connect, to connect with this person, to bring him closer. It's interesting that he, he seems what? to be so natural at mapping these kinds of concepts to a game. After this, 
Dakota went oh, off and what, what was at the end of that hallway? Yeah, they, I mean, maybe nothing. What's deep inside of you, you know? Mobius, try to play this game properly. You must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. Wait, okay. seriously? I'm, my eyes are closed. All right. Could you? I closed them. Okay. Okay. My eyes are closed. My eyes are closed, too. Should I just try I something? Know. Go forward. Wait, I'm opening is, my eyes. This is our first blind LP. I'm opening my eyes. Oh, did you? Don't yeah, open them. I did. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, no. You can't actually play your game the game with your eyes closed. Oh my god, there's stuff going on. So yeah, help, I'm blind. I can't see anything. What's going on? So first blind LP canceled, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to be killed by... That's it. We're dead. So you're supposed to keep your eyes closed the whole time. Because that would have been the best way to go through that. <laughs> What's going on? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't yeah. already. It's pretty much impossible. Because okay. otherwise you're just yelling shit. And there is a solution, by the way. Okay, so hit some hit some keys and hit some stuff. Talk quickly. You only have, I, like, can, I can only say one thing. Oh, there's a door over there. There's an elevator. Where? So you're there? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm in. Okay, we gotta go there quicker. We got it this time. Round three, round three. Uh, there's one on this side, too. Is it new? <laughs> Kids, go, 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 go! Uh... Truth. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. Uh, okay, well, the elevator's not gonna work when you're up here, I guess. No, no, that isn't truthful. Okay. Give me another chance. No, you, you screwed up. <laughs> Uh, okay. You just be something honest. I guess that's, these games aren't very fun. Help, I'm blind would be the honest thing to say, because your eyes are supposed to be closed, I think. No, but that, that option's oh, gone. Oh, that goes away, okay. I, I can't, can't keep, keep making, making these. these. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. It's draining me. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, Fuck. he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, one. but yeah. he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves mm -hmm. disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Mm. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. That's really His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. More ahead. desperate. After this game, it's I wonder if he experienced these in chronological order or new. all at the same time after he got access to them. You know? Oh, yeah. Like if, that's he, if huge, he played them as they were made. Yeah. That's a huge difference in perspective, isn't it? Definitely, it seems like some of them he played at the time. Sorry, give me a second. I'm just going to close the window. I'm getting a bit chilly here. You're getting a bit chilly? Getting cold feet? And it's not just the, the wind. <laughs> it's not just the wind. Oh, God. Headphones hitting the floor. Materials shattering. It's fine. That's why people come to our channel. Exactly. Because we're real. Because they expect this, this level of reality. The sound of windows closing and, and me having a cold... This is legit. And opening bags of chips by slamming your hands on them and making them all pop out the bottom. Yes. That's the real shit. What is this? Okay. It's pretty. I can see how the production values are going up with each game. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. But it's still a floating camera with, with, with text, yeah. You know. Alright, let's, uh... Anyone there? It's like, uh... God, that movie with the tree on the cover. It's all always about the tree. I forgot what it's called. Oh, the Black Knight. <laughs> no? Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. we got the one? Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that a person not lovely? It's been a long time since I've talked to anybody. What's wrong? You look lost. Am I talking to a tree? Uh, maybe. Oh, wow. Uh, when I try to create, I feel empty. That's, wow. That's, yeah. Yeah, desperate's the word. All right. Let's walk backwards because that disappeared when I crossed. Oh, you want to see it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it just fades out. Oh no! What happened? What happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. I tried to find this engine that used to protect me. Could this come back out. around to the Whisper engine? <laughs> I mm. doubt it, but... Can I jump that? No, I can't. 
there's no consequence to ever walking or jumping or doing it, anything, it, really. It's interesting, though, because, like, it is clear that for a while he had a really interesting phase, like the game where you can only walk backwards and the game where he put yeah, his that own was text that in was there creative. and stuff like that. That was creative. Yeah. Even if it wasn't the most elaborate thing in the world, it was, it was a thing. Is that water behind you or something? I don't know. Whatever that sound was. This, it's not, this can't support good-looking water. He can't. No, I just heard a, a sound, and I was like, huh. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative yeah. frustrations, this one turns it up to a level. it's like, now, how much depth can you have with playing? assets bought on the, on the, the asset store? Mm -hmm. signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even? Yeah, head that way. And yeah, yet, still, on, he keeps puzzle. making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Yeah, it just seems... What That's not what I said! I said the third thing! Shit. It, I agree with uh, Dewey, is it? Like, this just... This kind of does seem really unhealthy in that kind of way. This is interesting. One of the first 3D models I ever built was like something that looked exactly oh, yeah. like this. A Tori, yeah. Up to a, it led up to a bridge. And then a, from my a perspective at the time, and, That's and where this is going. what I knew of him through Woolies 3DS Max history. Yeah, it's it super it weird. Here's the fucking door. Just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone. This is easy. Uh, not releasing them onto the internet. Except it's not working. And so. He didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground Can you tell me how to do it? First you have to open the door. <laughs> it's not dark. Now what? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's lighter than usual. Now you have to close the first door. And then? Now you have to press the switch on the inside. Now you have to press the switch here, yeah. yeah. I wonder if you can get that wrong. Ha! So simple. You can't yeah. talk yourself out of loneliness. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. Well, I try to create a feeling. If what all is of this? your anxieties are being channeled you into your work, then if the yeah. work ever fails, you These have no backup and you're yeah. just going to crash. There's no machine here. Trust me, you'll see. You have to say that your work, your work is, fun is fun and easy. easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Holy shit. Oh, this is real. This, this is, is so this is real. So, dude. This is getting wow. so real. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Why did I feel so awful when I said that? Yeah. Just keep talking. Fuck. Oh my god. This is this is hitting. Yeah, no, no, hitting, me too, me too, this exactly. Is hitting, this is hitting places for us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. Like, specifically us too. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, this game's awesome. Oh, man. This quote-unquote game question mark is awesome. It looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing yeah. it so trapped. It's like video games oh, are not blind. How about a TV? Some of these are from suffering. like older games, like the blind one. Yeah. This is Trust me, you don't want to go over that. That was another and one. I used that's, that's an so idea. Much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and Can't frustrated figure out how to say like the this thing was from the stage was the one. worst yeah. thing for me. What was that other one? It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Yeah. What if I'm not a good teacher? There are other ways in and out. Uh, please continue. Uh, it always pays off eventually. Yeah, yeah, I... Okay, now we're just... Now we're just... We're just blasted to the walls in. Yeah. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know so, how like, we're breaking down it. these these things that were all from I wanted old it to games. stop more than anything. Is this another one of those I never felt so wrong. metaphorical I stops? Just, like, like I needed in between more than I had of ever needed anything for this... To stop. Dude, if you had a friend that was like this, like, and you were not publishing these games, but, but you kept making stop. them, yeah, 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 yeah. would get this actually one. concerned. Coda takes another seven months, seven months and comes up with a new game. But it's like, again, like, are you, do you know the guy in person that you can go yeah. check up on him? Yeah, exactly. You know? The you, is it just messages online? Like, that was the first human model we actually saw. It was that girl. That, that girl, yeah, without a, without a blockhead, yeah. 
Glad to see you are safe. It was captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can be in the interrogation whatever you like. I intend to be brutal. I intend to be. Jeez. <laughs> uh, let's, let's take it easy. Yeah. Very good. You can be brutal and quick. You can Someone be called the press. You can be brutal and quiet, this one. but you can't be quiet and quick. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. You cannot be. Don't you dare hustle it in calls oil itself. Way. One more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Coda. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> what are your next actions? Where's the machine what now? Can you tell us? Nothing. I have no mouth. You stopped. And of course, it's the machine. Is it for pigs? You stopped feeding us. Your work was keeping us alive. Your work was keeping us healthy. Is this... Like, are you playing as the games? Are you playing as the woman? No, you are talking to your brain. Maybe, yeah. You're creative. Can you imagine what pain you put them through? It's only because... Could you possibly go back just to do this job? Yeah. You're, you're talking to your, your creative side, you know? How about this first starting? What are the people who are out there apologizing to the to the people who allow them to suffer? I've been so... Apologize for leaving me. This is a one-sided conversation. This is the kind of thing where you can imagine him playing this and like so, responding in speech or something. And just staring at the screen. If yeah, he even played yeah, this, if he yeah. even played this after making it, you know. That's the other question, right? Because I mean, it's like you're not falling out off the corner. It's like if I walk into this wall, yeah, it's gonna be a wall. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, did, yeah, that's a good question. Is did he even play them? Yeah. All right, then I'll apologize to you on your behalf. There was a door uh, over here. Oh wow. We the people. My friends. My friends. Yeah, followers is a bit yeah, condescending. Exactly. This shitty rundown fucking slum. This fucking like uh, extra side to that Counter Strike map from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. This it's the stage from uh, the Skyfall. Mm. Uh, the machine will not apologize. The machine to us. refuses to admit that he, it deliberately hurt us. It's not important. We're stronger than it thinks we are. We'll find a way to live without it. We don't need its gates. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. Let us show it that we are not failures. Let us pay it retribution. Like, f attack and beat up your writer's block, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but maybe you don't even beat it. Maybe you just end up hurting yourself. Jesus Or maybe Christ. this is what gets you going. But, like, door opened. I am so... Yeah, no, I to, just to re-echo the statement... I'm so invested in this being a real story. Yeah, oh, definitely. And not just being a work of fiction. Back to it's the stage. way too interesting. <laughs> um, that seems to be the same. Oh, yeah. you can talk here. Coda, I'll make sure your work dies here. I'll make sure you are known forever. This appears to be the gun model from that first game. It is. Yeah. That what you're scared of having to live so with now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect yeah. on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work. The ability to program to get some like actual feedback on his games. Journal like an outlet. Get him out of isolation. Instead of actually writing into a journal. Maybe. And so, as I'm thinking Time this, right I realize that I could be the one to initiate Okay, yeah. Because it would never occur to Coda to start typewriters is the absolute feedback. For, like, so, what if I did it for it? You know, mm -hmm. like, for sure. If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, I wonder if this, would that if this bring Coda guy ended up working spiral? on uh, Stanley Parable would it give with, him confidence with this guy? Himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? Or it's like, it's twist at the end of the game, he turns out to be fucking Cliffy B. <laughs> yeah, or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. 
Little did woo. Oh, there you go. That's the first time so we you started could showing Coda's work. Oh, point before, I, think. I took this one and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape. Game. Right. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point. Oh, it's the door. They, they genuinely loved I his work. That, yeah. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. The machine. How? Okay. That had nothing to do with me. Yeah. Maybe you can't put down your machine. Maybe the point. Can you see why I felt like this I can't was the do right thing but to you. do? Oh, it makes sense. Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When when someone really connects with, I don't the thing think there's going to be a wrong end. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here we go. There's nothing yeah. that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. I really felt like I'd done something At good. Like, time, like, like yeah. I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend then, who was in trouble. Well, and I, I agree with what he's saying right now. That seems like to be how it would feel. Like you were doing the right it. thing. If I could give him this gift, but maybe I, I feel like he's going to say that that wasn't. When they told me how much the they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy, so beautifully, beautifully happy. How much Dewey was Coda? Um, yeah. So anyway, Coda finishes this game. That's and true. Then that could be a really, thing. He just kind of because that takes off that works out with the timeline of Stanley Parable coming so this out is after that. June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Uh, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower. And to my knowledge, fact, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Based on how much, so again, how much they all look. feel like Stanley yeah. in terms of like, you've just got to walk how around. How abstract it is and stuff. Just walk around these hallways. It, it makes sense too, because like... It, it feels too much like his style. Well, I also feel like... Like, Stanley's a crazy game, right? Like, he put it out, and that game exploded. Yeah. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Oh, is there nothing? Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. Like, maybe that's the thing. If it is him, maybe this is this game. game's about the juxtaposition of that. Of his... Who he was who before he was the before, game. Before, before, who he maybe still is. Yeah. But, like... Before Stanley took off. I don't know. Maybe. That, that's... That's... A very personal and interesting story to tell. Boy, is it. Let's keep going? Yeah, okay. I saw that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you saw that. This or... room actually has a maze in it. What? Except that all the walls of the oh, maze are invisible. Fuck. And then every time you touch one of Undertale? the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really Yeah, miserable. it is. So skip us ahead. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it. Yeah. Anymore. But I do want to show you the rest of the levels. So when you're ready to continue, okay. press Let's take enter, that bridge. and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's the, isn't that from that's, Stanley? That's the same texture, dude. Yeah. Which, maybe which, it's a maybe it's, it's just a an default... unreal unreal block. Uh, source source source. Maybe rather, that's yeah. a default source texture. Yeah, I don't know. Never actually really fiddled the source. And Sprite to be fair, it's probably. not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Yeah, like the house cleaning. Definitely. Game. You know that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores. Oh and really? Just wow. Clean the okay. house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually. Oh, so you never got to but exit the house. That game before. had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Or like the waiting an hour in prison. Yeah. All right. All right pull up. The only way past this challenge is randomly to randomly guess. guess. No, you the have to type in code, code first. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. 
It's like if that I bit in Stanley where you have to keep the yeah. baby alive. Maybe I could exactly. ask him, but I couldn't. I still don't I'm, really I'm, understand I'm why I'm starting to feel here. like Coda is Stewie. It's, I'll put yeah, the code on the ground possible. for you here, though, so that we can move oh, on. Oh, thank you. One, five, one. Six, one, seven. So um, seven. I didn't see the last ones yet. Oh, all the way up to ten. One, five, one, six, one, seven, yeah. Bingo. Escalators. Okay. Now I elevate. Can I fall? Probably. Possibly, so let's. Yeah, it looks like I could. <laughs> it's not, yeah. That, look, that looks like a very a real gap. Mm -hmm. And Goldeneye. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door. But it is Meaning there. It's literally yeah. impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two Jesus challenges, Christ. and you got to this, this is point, literally an impassable door. Just no way to progress. But he still bothered to put the That's switch. Me. The he idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying. You know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Because that also implies the idea of perhaps someone problem. being on the other side who closed it or something. I feel like a failure, that's... I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting really attached to the idea that he's telling us his story. Yeah, probably. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? It, it sounds like that I don't know why be I would thing. be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. Uh, is there nothing to the right? Oh, oh yeah, there you go. okay. I remember this tower it's is June like of 2011. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing this for the very first time. It's like I'm going through an and actual playing, Asher I'm tower. I'm thinking to mm -hmm. myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. Yeah, because this seems completely alien. It wasn't like, the guy I knew. It wasn't my All friend. the other stuff, it feels like there was some sort of apparent so message, but this one's from just like, all of everything's locked down. Point, and then suddenly the idea of just hiding a secret at the end of impassable hallways well, is kind of crazy. guess the fucking number is already, like... Guess the number switch the behind the door, years, like... I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he know, actually like, was and, hmm. and what he stood for. I don't I asked want him you to, to so do many this times. To go please just to solve tell this. me what is going to But I'm going to build him. it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots. Mean. <laughs> what do the three dots mean? And he wouldn't. Fucking dots. Justify your existence, dots. <laughs> Justify them to me. Do it. <laughs> do it now. Just on I'm your so knees. Strong. Exactly. I connected with him. That if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. Mm -hmm. It was that I needed to see myself in well, How did he get the okay to like, take this guy's like someone diary? Well, we'll see by the end, right? I, I but he stopped we and left. It might answer it itself. Felt somehow we'll like write. I had failed. Probably gonna link back up. Yeah. You chose correctly. Or did I? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. No Where consequence, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Just just move. Just keep moving. This is your walking simulator. Dear Davey, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you not to speak I'm to me anymore. I am the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? Davey, we kept saying Dewey. It's because <laughs> of what I did. Whoa. I poisoned it for you. So this implies that he was playing them as they were being made. I guess so. That's fucking... What a fucking yeah bomb! Like and the fact you are, that you are asking to play this guy's games as he's making them one yeah, by yeah, one, yeah. and then eventually you hit this point. And they're so like so personal to him, clearly. And like again, like this game, the first two puzzles are like yeah, bullshit. Invisible yeah, maze, yeah, yeah. fine number. But it's like you're gonna. And then the third one is a switch behind it. You need to edit the game, meaning that cheat. he's expecting that you're gonna fucking work your way through. Like, my bullshit. It almost makes me feel like he didn't want to say this to him. Yeah, yeah. But he had to or something, you know? But but clearly it was written here in a way where it's like he did find this message because he yeah, did yeah, yeah. do it. Sorry for fucking up your name, Davey. <laughs> yeah. Christ. I don't think I, I ever told with... you this, but when I took your work oh, and I was wow. showing it to people, it actually felt... It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. 
This is absolutely some Banksy You've shit. You've so infected my personal space that it's possible and I did begin the people the who played them, somewhere hidden between they treated me like shop. I was Jesus. important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Wait. Even though I was showing your work, did you read that? Was, yeah. Yeah. I felt good Anything about Anything on the far myself. left? Only. No, nothing. Finally. Like for a moment, an while I had that, really I liked myself. You stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes. Giving them something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe. Wow. Would you stop changing my games? Stop adding lampposts to them. Uh, was that a lie? Would you simply let and then them you be stopped. what they are? And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And I mean, as these soon are things as that, that happened, say to you. There was when I'm around no you, I feel Holy physically shit. ill. Shit. Less than nothing. I desperately need something, and I cannot that? give it to you. I literally do not have it. Could you imagine, dude? Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. Christ. That's really harsh. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. But, like, it's what, it's what he feels, man. Which is fine. You're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, I'm not Will okay. you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. Yeah, go stand near the door. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your I work, but I in. can't oh, stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Feels like some Bojack shit going on right there, man. It's just like, like it's become such an incredibly personal. I f like like I feel uncomfortable. Story. Yeah, I, I feel kind of uncomfortable like peering in, you know. I guess that's kind of what makes it incredible, though. It's like this is between two people. Yeah. Or one. And it should have nothing to do with you or me. But you're finding out about, you know. Mm -hmm. You should just walk forward to the end. Yeah, I was just seeing what's going on. More. More, 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 more. More love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Yeah, go find your spot. <laughs> it's a nice train. But are we just walking out the other end of it? Yeah. Solution. 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 Turn around real quick. <laughs> just the one train car. Yeah. It's Monte Regioni. <laughs> After all these years. I no, I want to leave now. Ahead of time that he just... <laughs> really enjoyed making prison games 
Maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Dude, like... Maybe he just likes making prisons. Like, should we have LP'd this? <laughs> Do you, I mean, it's too late now. Do you know what I mean? Like, No, I know, I know what you mean. Like, I don't think this was meant for this type of thing. It's too late Fucking now. Air your dirty laundry on YouTube. Everybody, come look at this dirty laundry as we comment over it. We like this is this is a, a, a this is legitimately even now the disease an is abstract form of no art what a in a video game that has never, as far as I know, has never been done before in a public forum. And again, assuming and it would be remiss of us to not touch that. Assuming this is not a work. Assuming, assuming this is not a work. Exactly. Assuming that this and is even all, if it is a work, because if it's kayfabe, then it's fine. But yeah. if it's not, then again, I, I feel a bit weird about this. Can't be helped. She got that eye. At this point, like these games that we're playing right now, since if I remember correctly, the the last one we played, the, the tower, tower was the, tower the last was the one last we made. Yes. So right now we're playing. I guess Davey's we're playing stuff made by Davy. Yes. What would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but. The thought of not being driven by external this validation is just his epilogue tacked is onto unthinkable. Coda's games. Like I actually Yeah, it's true, isn't it? What he's saying right now? Like. Yes. Like how Coda as as far as we can see was driven by his own internal validation if he's if he's being truthful, which he probably was. And the idea of being able to drive yourself like that is just so foreign to, to a lot of people, and that makes sense. Or having that conversation with yourself. Yeah, exactly. Having that conversation and still being comfortable with yourself. And that's not, I'm not saying that as a judgmental I thing, but I like just the go. concept of it is, and I think, alien to most people. I'm sorry, yeah. Because I know that I said that. Because I, I would never, I would like, I would work that all plan. out internally and just feel never like have a lot of feel the do. need to make an outlet for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just so that, just so, so that, because it's like, it feels like a feedback loop, you just, know? Mm hmm. It's so weird to be able to see into someone else's okay. idea. It's not. It's not a game. These. These are not games. This is. This is. This is. <laughs> this is something uh, like else. An almost like an auto. I don't know, biography. Or, it's or not. Something. This is not a video game. In it's a, no. Game. I guess it's an apology letter. Is what it, it is. It is. It's an interactive apology letter. Yeah. Available on Steam. Available for eight forty nine. For eight forty nine on Steam. <laughs> Which again. Is it a work? It might be, and we might just sound like idiots. Well, but how could we not at this point, right? I'm willing to accept that at this point in, this, in the game. I'll take it. I'll take it. We paid eight forty nine to fucking peer into someone else's, you know, personal yeah. shit. That door's too high. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Like, that's the other question is, are you sorry? And if you are, why isn't this free? Well, and if you are, why did you do this? And, and I mean, he addressed that a minute ago. Why is he doing this? Is this the right thing? Is this... Why is he selling this? Yeah, well, I think that's less of the issue. I think, why is he even publishing perhaps, it, right? Perhaps, yeah. perhaps. Seeing as this Coda character seemed to... Seemed to not enjoy that facet of it. Yeah, are you going to give him the money that it made? Well, who even knows? But again, even just wouldn't the that, idea he's that, sharing it in the first wouldn't place. Wouldn't that probably make him feel worse? Well, where's this going exactly? Like that's the, that's the question. Truly. Also, like your need that to door apologize. Is really far away. It is. Excuse me. Your need to apologize, like ultimately, still tramples on the guy's wishes. In a sense, yeah. And it, do it does for to sure. To me, that's wrong, because you should just respect what he asked you to do. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know if that morally... No, assuming this is a real person on the other end, it's like... He asked you to he do He asked something. you to, to, to effectively step off. And to... And to not. Back the fuck up. To not and do you, this stuff. Oh, there's the... Do it. Um, and now we're gonna fly up through the roof. Yep. I suppose we are.
yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe you know, like I but I, I kind of that's the way inter- I interpret it. Mm-hmm. Infinite Labyrinth. That's what it more or less looks like. Infinite Skybox. Maybe the same Skybox. Who knows? Beautiful. Looks pretty good. Take this as a screensaver. It's <laughs> pretty nice. Just rise again, definitely. Yeah, tranquil. I feel like it's the when you get far enough, episode though, you one won't of even be able to... Blue. Yeah, just the yellow. Blue. Yellow. When you get far enough, you must not even be able to really see what it's. I mean, it might not even go on that far. Wow, it's kind of crazy to just look straight on at that. Like, yeah, well, it, it, it looks exactly. I have to squint my eyes. Cause yeah. This is probably going to melt the video codec <laughs> yeah. on, you, on YouTube. Oh my god, you're right, yeah. Just wiggle it around real quick a few times, and it's like, well, your video quality is gone. Because <laughs> it's so, so... The, s- the screen The change in. is so yeah. subtle, you know? God, look at that. Turn back. Yeah, uh, you know, again, like, it, it was a game that I bought on Steam, so I guess that qualifies it as, like... I mean, it's a it's LPable. It's probably not an impossible to find individuals. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, again, it's a, it's it's, a commercial it's, product. It is. It's a per, it's a commercial product. It's abstract, and it's but ultimately, it is. It is a game, and I don't think it's a game. Well, I mean, it's a game in a traditional sense. You move around, and you, you do have to move around. Yes. You can't complete it without interacting, right? Yeah. Like, it's not a traditional game but you know I mean it's it's using the medium of you know video games of course of course to tell its story and to do what it's doing but I don't I don't call this a video game you know like you said it's it's an, an, inter, an interactive apology sure and you know but it's in the same way that like um like Dear Esther is a game, you know right. what I mean? Like, Rapture, etc., etc. Yeah, I understand. I understand that. But like, it's it certainly goes in the game category. Yeah. Uh, but um, that's interesting, and I, I, it, it makes me ponder the title of the game. You know, the beginner's guide. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? And there's the lamp post in the corner there, and like, gosh. I want to know if are there's there a resolution to this. I want to know. Are there things that can be... Go to the, the, the page. Store page? Uh, I think it's store page. Or is it DLC? Or is it the or... Have? I don't fucking know. I don't use Steam that much. Let's look at the store page. Like, what is there to say? Is this the preview this video? This is the preview video, yeah. Let's say you sit down at a stranger's computer. <laughs> you start opening up files and looking through stuff, and eventually you come to a folder that just says, My work. Okay. So you open it. And you click on a random file, and it's a video game that looks like this. If you had to guess, what would you say you know about this person right now? Like, maybe they're kind of goofy. Okay, you close that, you scroll down a bit, and you open up a new file. It's another game. Do you think this person is happy? Are they unhappy? Now another one. What do you think is comfortable for this person? What puts them at ease? Do you think they're lonely? What's missing in their life? Keep going. Open another file. Let's look at all of wow. this. Wow, trailer is this actually like, yeah. are they upset about important. something? Or I'm sure something? that list is the what actual. Do you think makes yeah, this person list angry? Too. What kinds of friends do Great they have? Flyover. Do they even Great enjoy flyovers. making video games at all? Take all of these images, hold them in your mind, and now try to imagine, without ever having met this person, who they are. Okay, let's do it. Let's guess that if you're right. Yeah, I guess that's what it's about. What an interesting... What an interesting game. Do you want to... Do you, Would you like to know more? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Alright. Horse porn. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, The Beginner's Guide, I guess. This is where, or okay, should, or, Google. Or should I say Coda? Yeah, Rice Lake. No. No, that's wrong. Perfect. Stop okay Googling. <laughs> I should have... I... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> damn it. All right. The Beginner's oh, Guide. Oh, God. 
Yeah, what do we know about this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, is there an official site? Is there a wiki we're entry? At the, we're at the same place where all these people are. Remember, this game came out yeah. less than a day ago. But we're getting so meta at this point that this is part of the LP. Oh, man. Is what did we just experience? Rock, Paper, Shotgun has some opinions. <laughs> you know, Destructoid has some opinions. But I want to hear it from the source if possible. I don't know if there'll, there'll be anything. You know, like... Uh, Davy. Davey. God damn it, what was his last name? Now. Davey, Davey Redden. Redden. Redden? Redden? So he's the writer of Stanley Parable. Oh no, it, does, it says creator right there, I don't know. Okay, let's let's go to this, IndieGames.com. This what is are we looking review. at here? No, right, this is a press it's release. press release. Davey Redden on Twitter, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? And now it is time for me to take a very long break that was 21 hours ago from this moment it's when the game came out it's when the game came out do you have any anything to explain or I, th I think that's it I think it's meant to sit like that I think you're meant to interpret it as you will and I think like he said all he wants for it to do is get back to this Coda guy and hope that it'll that it'll do something and that get, he wants it get, to do or, or just get the word out that he's sorry yeah that's uh that's fascinating there's nothing else like this nothing else like this maybe there will never be anything else like this I once again reiterate that if this is not real fuck everything fuck everything I'm flipping my fucking keyboard it's done but if it is real yeah, that's interesting. That's some real shit. And, like, again, I feel, like, bad staring into someone's personal... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not recommended, says Holy these people. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Although, it still says... It's, I looked at the reviews. Very positive. I looked at the reviews. People were... I was reading them just there. People were saying it's not Stanley Parable, and it's like, well, no, it's... It's not, is it? It's the opposite of Stanley Parable. Should we just end it here? Or Because I don't think we're going to find out any more tonight. I think that's it. Maybe time will tell, but right now, that's our LP, guys. Look, we can end it, right? This, this is us ending this it. This is us ending it right well, now. This Just, is meta as fuck. I well, like you it. don't hit the stop button right while I'm talking. You're going to ruin the whole thing. I'm sorry. No, don't do it. Should no, I, don't do it. When should I do it, then? Not while we're talking. All right.